Good afternoon, Manufacturing All-Stars, and welcome to another episode of Manufacturing Happy Hour. Today, you are going to learn about Rockwell Automation's open controller solutions. I'm joined once again by our solutions architect, Vinod Nandaraja. Cheers, Vinod. Cheers, Chris. Welcome to the show. So, I'm going to set some context for this episode because, to be honest, this episode is not for everyone. It is very much centered around high-tech industries that are often found here in the Bay Area where Vinod and I are based. So, for example, semiconductor and electronics. But, Vinod, can you provide a little more technical context for what we're going to talk about today as well? Sure, Chris. So, in this episode, we're going to talk about open controller technology. And as Chris mentioned, especially here in the Bay Area with Silicon Valley, as well as more and more millennials coming into our workforce, there's a lot of people that, uh, that understand how to program in, in Python or C Sharp, right? We get that question all the time. Can you program your PLC or PAC in Python? And so what we're gonna talk about is really these two different camps that have been out there. There's the PC-based control camp, mm -hmm. And then there's the PLC or PAC control camp. Got it. And for our audience out there, can you can maybe provide a benefit or a reason why someone might go the PC direction or why someone might go the PLC, PAC direction? Sure, definitely. Um, so on the PC-based control camp, right, with, with uh, very talented programmers, they're looking at it from the perspective of why would I buy this thing off the shelf and or buy these devices off the shelf and pay for that versus I know how to program that from scratch, mm -hmm. right? On the PLC or PAC based um, camp, they're looking at it from the perspective of, hey, my competition is getting tougher and tougher mm -hmm. and it's more and more important for me to improve my time to market. And so with that, let's leverage some off the shelf components. For example, like if I'm gonna create a stepper motor and make that move, Mm -hmm. it, I can develop it from scratch or I can yeah. buy it off the shelf and I can do it in 10 minutes. Right? Mm -hmm. yeah. and, and the other thing is that in, in this industry, um, a lot of times we also see that evolution from PLC to PAC is not understood. Sure. In a, yeah. in a PLC environment, you have disparate technology and we see a lot of equipment that still have that. Mm -hmm. Maybe a separate safety controller, a separate motion controller, a separate robot controller. And PAC stands for Programmable Automation Controller, which is a multidiscipline controller. So it gives you that ability to, hey, I only need to learn this one thing, and I can improve my time to market and, pre and reduce my troubleshooting. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing that's not understood is in the PC environment, a lot of people think that every sensor, every device needs its own IP address. If you understand multidiscipline controller, you only need to go to one controller to access all of those devices and that data. So to summarize for our audience, um, if you're looking at it from the PC direction, a lot of that has applied, uh, has um, not applied, but been attractive to younger generation, which that's what they're learning coming out of school. So a lot of younger millennials, they understand those higher level pro uh, programming languages and that's what they gravitate towards. On the PLC or now PAC side, really that's a time to market and competition type situation. You're trying to beat your competition to market and the reality is when you use an off the shelf solution, you can spend more time focusing on your technology versus reinventing the wheel with a, an, a homegrown controller, so to speak. Um, and Vinod, before the episode, you and I were talking about Rockwell's, what we were calling the Scalable Compute Launch, the Scalable Compute Launch. Um, and can you provide a little bit more around that and how this relates to our topic today? Yeah, so we, so we talked about these two different camps. And I, I think one of the industry trends we're seeing is that these two camps are merging. So consumers no longer have to decide between these two great things you can have a technology platform where you can leverage both the off-the-shelf technology and leverage the open controller theme. And so we're calling this launch the Scalable Compute. And there's a couple of new products that Rockwell Automation is coming out with. Um, we're gonna highlight it at Automation Fair later this month. Mm -hmm. The first product that's coming out is a control logics module that is called the 1756 Compute Module. Mm -hmm. And it's running a Windows 10 environment on board a control logics module and it can communicate over the backplane to our L8 control logics processor. Mm -hmm. The other product we're coming out with is called a Compact Logics 5480. And this controller is a is a Compact Logics controller, high performance, 
with a hardened real-time logics engine as we know and love mm -hmm. but it has a Windows 10 core and it's also going to have the ability um, to have some new ladder logic instructions where you can call the Windows DLLs from ladder logic. Mm -hmm. So with that, you can encapsulate uh, things like Python code and run it from your ladder logic. You can do high-speed data collection and it opens up a lot of possibilities. Furthermore, if you want to scale down to maybe a Micro 800 PLC or a low-end Compact Logics controller, you can pair, the, it's convenient to have a solution that has the Windows core on board, mm -hmm. but we can still do it on our traditional controllers, um, where maybe with our new VersaView 5000 computers, mm -hmm. which we did a d different episode where we talked a lot more about that launch, yep. but you can have things like C-sharp drivers on the computer that talk to a, a, our low-end controllers, or, or have use things like our TCP IP sockets to talk Python. So there's there's a lot of ways to achieve this open controller environment at the cost point that you that you want. So to summarize and to provide a call to action for you folks out there, and also to give Vinod a chance to catch up on his beverage really <laughs> quickly, um, the reality is we're seeing the best of both worlds coming from these solutions. Now you can take advantage of those higher level programming language languages, but you also have the advantages of an out of the box control solution. So. I would highly recommend check it out at Automation Fair. If not, I'll have links below to some of the products that we've mentioned as well. And I would always encourage you to reach out to us as well. But this is a bit of a, uh, a farewell episode as well for Vinod because you're actually moving on to a new role, the next stage in your career. We're all really excited for you, but you know, I'm gonna miss you. I think you're gonna miss him as well. But Vinod, do you have any closing words you'd like to say as well? Well, yeah, it's bittersweet. It's been an awesome ride. Uh, thank you, Chris, for having me on the Manufacturing Happy Hour. I'm definitely going to miss all my colleagues, all mm -hmm. our customers. And, you know, I just appreciate it and hope we all stay connected. Well, with that, let's do this. Let's do this. All right, man. We're going to miss you. Um, miss you guys, too. For the rest of you got folks out there. Stay innovative, stay thirsty. I'm Chris Lukey, and I will see you next time here on Manufacturing Happy Hour. Cheers. Cheers.